Hello, this is Alan Toe, and I'm going to show you here how to make locks. So, let's just say you're trying to open up this iron door, but then you see that, like, so, like, maybe you have, like, an iron door to your base or something, and, um, and this guy, he's in, like, World Guard, maybe, I don't know, like, the vanilla World Guard that they've been making. I don't know. Like, I meant, like, with the command blocks. Anyway, so, like, you're like, Huh, how am I supposed to get past this iron door? Trying that you don't see all this. This is just, this is like an example. Like you'd hook that up to the iron door. And um, what you would do, sorry for the noise if you could hear it. Just readjusting the headphones. Um, what you could, what you would do is like you'd make like, this is like a dual lock just to make a lot harder and a lot more combinations. And right now I just put down, usually you just memorize, but that one's black and that one's white. Okay, but you don't see them anywhere on these color wheels because there's a small storing spot right over there. So here's how it works. You have to get the black on this one you have to get the black to like to this glass part kind of right here. Like you have to get the black to go right there. On this part you have to get the white to go right there. So let's try this. One done, see? Like that. Though, if you had all this hidden, they wouldn't be able to see it. However, that one's still on, so it's still disabled. Never mind. Okay, let's just pretend it was black, and I just messed up the world. Okay, so now the door is open. Okay, and then you can just walk in. Blah blah blah. It doesn't matter. Okay. Change. It. Don't change the to white white. Okay. And close this. I shall be showing you how to make this. It's actually pretty simple. Just hooking up two sets of pistons together with a delay of four ticks. Three takes was too little, and and oh, this is the this is the mastermind of the back. You see that hold one and then push one up, and the delay goes, do, do, do. and then if and redstone cannot transmit through um through blocks like this through transparent blocks, so it would do go right here. How if I replace this with a regular block like that? And 
this is gonna be like a back wall. For now, let's just leave it hollow. Or like this. So we can actually see the back. Okay? And then we're gonna have rational torch here, rational repeater here. And then this is where we start getting everything going. The back part of it, the control part. The front is just like for looks. This back part is for meaning. Okay. So, let's do this. Okay. Wait, what did I do? Okay, never mind. Just, just for myself to remember. But, like, you can, like, make it even more hidden and stuff. Anyway. So, we'll want a piston right here. And have this going all the way right here. If you move this one over, it's going to trigger the piston. It's going to mess everything up. I did that first when I was trying to make um the second one right here. And it really screwed things up. And um, this design is like 10 by 8 or whatever. The front being 10. The back being 8. I, don't run a specif I didn't specify how tall it was at all. So yeah. So we'll want that. And 1, 2, 3... Go up one, like that, break that, two, right, oops, break that, and three, oops, there. So this is like the frame for the control part, okay? Want to put a piston right here, as well as a piston right here, a piston right here, and a piston right here, yeah, looks right. And so you'll want to like, you don't, you can just use like dirt or whatever, and then you'll want to, well if you're, if you're like in creative mode, yeah, it's going to be as easy as it is for me. But if you're in survival mode, it's going to be quite hard, or harder at least. Just like that. There we go. Destroy this, all this stuff. And then yeah. And then you'll want to put three blocks right here blocks on top of these and three blocks right here. I believe that's how we did it. That's no I did it behind. Sorry. Uh. And then just for wiring not quite yet, just do this where you have an extra thing right here, put a rest on torch. I don't know. You don't have to do that yet. Not rest on torch either. Okay. And then you'll want to make some stairs. Just going up all the way here, just like that. And then right here, you're going to want to make a staircase like this. I bet that there's ton more compact ways than this, but I just chose to do it like this because I like it. Let's start wiring, okay? In each red, in le each like um repeater will be set to four, except for that one. Four. Just get repeaters done with. It's actually pretty easy to design. Four right there, and four right there. So this requires like a total of. Four repeaters, actually. Pretty small. Right there, so one, two, three, four. Yeah. Let's try this. So then you just wire up these stairs. You wire every single surface, it seems. Just don't wire that, though. Let's try that. Oops. And then let's test it. So those seem to be working at home. If that, since they're all at the exact same timings, if this works, or if this works, then, or that works, then this will work too. So, as you can see. So, um. So I'm going to just get rid of all this stuff. Well, actually, I'm going to have some sandstone. 
So here's what you can do. You can just cover everything up by just doing this. Um oh oh whoop, sorry. Um this and then we'll cover that later. Actually we'll cover it right now. Okay, so so wood thing is like right yeah, it's right here, okay? So we will want to put, like, you don't have to use wool. You, c you have to use something pushable. You don't have to specifically use wool. Let's, um, let's pretend that my color right here is going to be orange, okay? So I put it, so I mash it up with the thing. I skip every single corner except this one. How about I just fill yellow, lime, cyan, pink, red, Skip that one. Blue. Magenta. Okay. I need one, two, three more. So let's get like black, white, and like the olive color. Green wool. Huh. Black. White. Olive. Okay. And then this is like done. Just like make a chamber out of it or something. Oh, um, how you do the wiring for the actual, um, thing is like this. So you just hook this up. Okay, let's just get it. Also, um, you have to, like, make, like, an indicator thing of where it's supposed to be. Let's back down. So, so, um, so put this orange. Bring the orange down right here. Yep, that's powered. The reason I want to power it is that we know where to put repeaters in. My repeater count was not part of this. Part of the actual like wiring up to like a door or something. So what you do is you hook this up to a um and let's see. Either if you're just doing a one, you hook it up to some kind of door. Okay. Then done. Off, it's gonna undo. But if you're doing multiple signals, what you'll want to do is you want to hook this up to a redstone torch. Um, get your. Let's just do four different signals, and then hook them up to redstone torches. Then put redstone in front of all of them. Then, what you do is, um, put a redstone torch right here. There's a, there's, I bet that there's a lot more compact way of doing it, but I just chose to do it like this. Oh yeah, I know another way to do it. Just do this. That's how you do it. That's a more compact way. Then you can have this powering to your block or your door. Okay, so that does it. Huh? So what you do is like you have all those signals lined up, and then they'll be undone, and then the door will go. Okay. And that's how you make a number lock or a lock. And you like the ones that you find at school, except for the operating system. I can't really tell. Um, there's no like real way to really tell where which one it is, since there's no like piston that goes off if you find like the right one or something. Like you can install that or something, where it would let a redstone signal in or something. I don't know. I'm tired. Anyway.
guys, this concludes my, um... Oh, I got something else to show you, I guess. Maybe I just should show it to you. Show it to you. Yeah, it's done. Okay. So this is another one of my locks. I guess this is going to be like a lock fest. No. This one doesn't require any pistons whatsoever. Just levers. L the lights are optional. And a um, bunch of redstone. Redstone torches, definitely. Redstone repeaters for compactness. This is probably a really compact lock. My code is that, 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 and that. And it opens up. However, if you get a single run run, closes. It's quite simple, actually. Okay, let's turn this off. Actually, I'll show you in the making. It's really, really simple. Oh, yeah, I also have to have building material. Duh. <laughs> Cannot believe I forgot that. Okay, so you want to make like the frame for your door or something. You want to make it like two away from here. Because this is actually pretty big for something like this. So you want two away and then the lock start. Just do it like this. So, let's just extend the lock. They're, ex they're exceedingly extendable. They, they're, they, you can extend them really far. Dang it. Well, at least I have that already. Okay. And then you want to put a lever on each lock. And um, then you'll want to put a redstone torch on the back of the ones that you want to be like the code for the lock, really. So I'm going to make mine like an M, like Mario. And then um, what you want to do is you want to put repeaters on any one that on the bottom. That's not going to have it. I'm every and then you want to. You'll want to put a second repeater in front of them. Actually, you can just like put a redstone, redstone right there. You want to have a repeater in front of that, and that, and then repeater here, here, here. So you'll just want to put like a redstone torch in front of them. You want to put like a repeater in front of every single um in front of every single one. Okay. Repeater here, repeater here, repeater here, repeater here. Okay. Um just let's just do this. Uh, that's a problem. That's why I, that's why I have the repeaters. Maybe you should just yeah that's why I have it the repeaters are actually um starting out with no redstone at all. See? You can do like redstone on like the bottom and then that's it. If I did redstone right here or not that bad. If I did redstone right here, um that would light up because the torch right here is powering this block which would power that and then yeah. It it would be just be really weird. Seeing the random one pop up, sorry. Ugh. Winter months cold. Anyway. So then you'll want to create like a block, a single block in front of every single here. So, so you want like, if this is only going to be like, this is only for like a three tall lock, you can make it pretty long. Um, like to like 15 long, and then, then you're going to have to have a, a something right there. And then you'll want to create a block on top. And this is just for, um, Good looks, I guess. I don't know. And then you'll want a row of redstone. Just right here. Just like that. Okay? Redstone torch right here. Okay. And, um, you don't place redstone there. I 
of the... It's like deja vu. Exactly. Well, I'm gonna get part of that, and then I'll close it. What do you want? What we just do that, that, that. I guess that'll work too. You just have like your hallway, whatever. Happen, and then the code for it is M. Um. You're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> I, I did press the wrong one. Oh, I must have forgot to put a rest on torch there. You gotta be very specific. Everything that you do. There we go. I'll have that lit up. Now I do. So, let me explain it. What happens, I don't, well, you gotta have every single redstone signal off. Or for that to work. Yeah. This concludes my video. Ooh, bat. I have this on peaceful. This is my first attempt at a lock. It works kind of well. And it doesn't. <laughs> um, it works like the same thing. Oh, whoops. As before. But. Just sideways. That's what this works. Signal that should come out. My first thing to was going to be like a stacking of one of these. Okay. I'm not going to show you right now. Just think of it as sideways. Use the rest of torches right there. The power of that when the proper lock comes. Okay? And you just close extend that. Anyway. And then, in order to just turn that on, that, 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 go back inside, bam, I'm out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how you make locks, two different kinds of locks, a third if you count that, it's really, really easy to make it. Um, thank you for watching this, and... Goodbye. Nope. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye.